Are you a freshman? Do you want to get a feel for the high school next year? Then we have a thing for you. On April 16th from 1 to 2, we have an event planned just for you. There'll be a tour all around the campus to show you guys around. And throughout the tour, we're going to have a bunch of fun activities that all you guys can do. And make sure to stay till the very end because we have a fun giveaway plan. <laughs> It's highly recommended for all you freshmen to come. That way you're more comfortable with the campus, get a feel for campus life, and it will be lots of fun. But we also do want to ensure that we can have events like this further on. So make sure to show up with a mask on at all times and also stay six feet away. See you guys there! Good morning, Cougars, and welcome back to the Good News Network. What a crazy week we've all had, with some of us going back to school this week. How's that been going for you, Kai? You know, Noah, I've been having a grand old time, and I've been learning a lot. Speaking of time, it's time for the joke of the day. Oh, good lord. What did the sushi say to the bumblebee? What, what did it say? Wasabi. <sighs> <laughs> Moving on now. We've got some awesome content for you guys today. Including another student interview with volleyball stud Annie Steger, teacher shoutouts, and a cool Connor segment. And we can't forget about your weekly outlet of news either. Let's get things into gear and see what Annie has to store with us. Kehlani, the stage is yours. Hi Cougars, I'm here with Annie Steger and we're going to be talking about volleyball. So um, tell us a little bit about how what you're doing with volleyball right now. Um, so for school we um, are, we have scheduled games um, in the next few months. Um, hopefully those won't get canceled. Um, we've been getting tested like three times a week. Um, and then I'm also on a competitive club team and um, my season's just finishing with that. And um, I've been, I traveled a lot with that team um, this past season. And yeah, it was really fun. That's super cool. Um, how was your season with your club team? Did you guys do okay? <laughs> um, yeah, we actually just uh, qualified for junior nationals, but since um, everyone's school seasons are happening, we're, my team's deciding not to go, but it's still really exciting. Oh, wow. That's super exciting. Oh, my gosh. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Um, and I know that you are going to college with volleyball. Um, what school will you be attending? Um, I'll be at Colorado College in the fall. That's super cool. Are you excited? <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Well, nice. Um, have you been practicing with the school for volleyball at all? Yes, we have practice every day, so yeah. Oh, nice. Well, thank you so much for being here with me. And good luck with college volleyball, and I hope you have fun. Thank you. Hey, Cougars. So I know it's starting to get super warm out and summer is coming up. So I thought I would do a little tutorial on how to make the perfect strawberry milkshake, something cool you guys can all enjoy. Okay, so I have my blender here. And then, so all you need is strawberries, milk, ice cream, vanilla ice cream, and vanilla extract. So I have my strawberries here. I'm using frozen strawberries just to make it colder. I have my milk. My ice cream, I use Ben and Jerry's because that's my favorite, and vanilla extract. So I'm going to put that all in the blender and then I'll show you guys after. Okay, so now that it's all blended up, we're going to put it into this cute little like milkshake glass. And then you can put whatever toppings you want on it, like whipped cream or whatever. But I'm going to put Hershey syrup and a strawberry to make it look all pretty. So, okay, here we go. so here is the finished product. Let's not spill it. Um, so now let's see how it tastes. 
This probably doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Okay, so I got a better straw. So now let's actually see how it tastes. Mmm, it's really good. I think you guys should definitely try it. I can't even lie, it's so bad. Wow, Annie, that's pretty amazing. Oh, yeah. I always knew you were a great volleyball player, but not at that level. Keep up the hustle. We'd love to see where it takes you. Now, let's get on to the global news that we've got for you guys this week. Our first story that we have for you is that in 24 years, California has cut their toxic air pollution down by 78%. That's a big number. And that's resulted in 82% fewer deaths related to it. That's crazy. That's a great accomplishment for environmental news. Wow, that is pretty amazing. Speaking of unfortunate leading causes of death in the country, the state of Colorado has actually offered free therapy sessions to young people who have been struggling with their mental health during the pandemic. This is a big step in leading the fight against mental health in the country. Wow, that's really great, Noah. Do you have any local news for us to share? As a matter of fact, I do. Just recently, a new LGBTQ plus center has been opened up at 7-Eleven Main Street in Half Moon Bay. They'll be offering youth groups every other Thursday and have more things planned in the future. Be sure to check out the GSA Club's Instagram page for more information. Also in the local news, this one's for you, seniors. You're having one last dance together. Long Branch Saloon will be hosting a senior formal for the class of 2021. This dance is not hosted by leadership, but organized by our community parents to make up for all of your lost time. How exciting is that, Cougar seniors? So be sure to start planning your date and your fit because it's coming up soon, Saturday, June 5th. Wow, that's great, Noah. Well, that's all we have for you guys for the local news report. And let's get on to Emily with the leadership announcements. We'll see you next week, Cougars. Hey, Cougars, please click the link in the HMB Leadership Instagram bio to give us your input about what you would like to see on the leadership page. Also, here's Sarah Gorman with more information about the mask painting contest. Hey Cougars, just a reminder that today's kindness activity is from 1 to 2 at the flagpole and we are decorating masks. You can pick up a kit and take it home to decorate or you can decorate it with us at the school. The kits include a plain white mask and some fabric markers to decorate with and there is a contest. So pick up a kit, decorate a mask and you can win a gift card. We have three gift cards to give out. so. Come join in on the fun. Again, one to two at the flagpole. Pick up a mask decorating kit. 